Today I'm going to talk about some uh, 20th anniversary and 25th anniversary Mega Man stuff. Um, I may have talked about this guy already, um, but I'm just going to cover him again because this is the big video. Uh, this 20th anniversary silver Mega Man figure, and he's kind of hard to get light on, but that is okay. Um, and he comes in this really awesome box. The logo had um, Mega Man Star Force character on it. And you can see Rockman and it has a pixelated character. And you just open it up and it had a little bit of paper in it and then Rockman goes right in there. Or Mega Man. He's got a... This is an awesome sculpt of classic Mega Man. You can see there's a little bit of detail in his Mega Buster there. So that is one of the rarest. There is a gold version of this out there. Uh, I saw it on Yahoo Japan Auctions uh, a little while back. I bid quite a bit on it and was astounded when it went to over three grand. Because um, it was it's the much, much more rare version of this. Um, I think there was only like five or something maybe. Maybe ten in the world. Uh, it was a contest prize. And then the silver ones were more abundant. This is a keychain for the 20th anniversary. You can see the 20th anniversary marking that there. It's a pixelated metal keychain strap thing. And there's a lot of the uh, robot masters in the background there. Sparkman, Woodman, Brightman, Heatman, Nightman, Iceman, Flowerman, Bombman, another Woodman. Plant Man, Crash Man, Elect Man, Pharaoh Man, another Ice Man, a skull for Dr. Wily's castle, Gemini Man, Fire Man, and a pixelated shooting Mega Man. And there's another jumping Mega Man right there. And he's in his shooting pose for the little figure there. It's very nice. Um, now let's go on to the last item that I just got. Um, for the 20th anniversary stuff. And this is really slick. Let me try to set it back up. It's going to be kind of hard to show. But, uh, so it comes in this little case, like this. Same logo as the other box. And it opens up like this, and this little paper comes out. And I think this is, um, this talks about winning the contest in 2007. You see that there. And inside there's a little pouch. And this little crystal keychain comes in it. Now that is pretty sweet. There's Mega Man. It says Rockman 20th anniversary. It might be backwards on. There we go. And very, very rare. This was the in between price prize, sorry. Um so the silver Mega Man was the smallest, and then the crystal keychain, and then the gold Mega Man for the prize tiers. And I'm not really sure what the contest was. I'm sure I could find that out somewhere, but um, I did not. Now, something that came out for... I wonder if I have the, the other the pin handy. I'm trying to see if I have that real quick. Yeah. Uh, this came out for the 25th anniversary, or during the 25th anniversary. It doesn't say on here 25th anniversary, it does say Capcom Store exclusive. This is a Mega Man USB Buster. And the reason on the back it says there is a $100 value, that's a nice little Mega Man case right there, um, is because it contains all of these art books on the back. And so the art books are... Um, Oh, Street Fighter X Mega Man is also on here. Cross Mega Man, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the 8-bit game that was fan-made that Capcom decided to undertake. And then it has the official game soundtrack and then wallpaper graphics. It also comes with 1 through 4 of the Mega Man comic books. And the Mega Man Tribute art book, as well as the Mega Man Complete Works art book. And they're all digital, digital versions of those. So, not sure if that really makes it a $100 value, but it is pretty sweet. You can see the little red bit on there, and the, this twists off right where this line is, and then you plug it in your computer, 
and the magic happens. Let me grab this pin right here. Okay, this was available in the uh, Capcom store, and it was cheap, and I decided to just grab it because, you know, whatever. It's a lanyard, but it says 25th anniversary, 1987 to 2012, and a little bit more information at shop.capcom.com, and it has some... Looks like energy balls and uh, Mega Man running and doing things. There's some one-ups on there. So there you go. There's a little lanyard. Um, they've been s uh, giving these away in certain events. Uh, Comic Con is where I got these. 25th anniversary pin. It's just the logo of the 25th anniversary. Metal pin with a pin back. And also in that same event, you could get an inflatable Mega Man Buster. And it does have the 25th anniversary on there. Um, there's a bunch of stuff that just kind of threw the 25th anniversary logo on there. A lot of the D-Art stuff has the 25th anniversary logo. So on to the really exciting stuff. Um, I'm going to discuss the first statue that came out. And uh, let me set it down here a second so you don't lose it. This statue. And it's, they call it the classic... 25th anniversary statue, and there's the logo again. And each side has an E tank, and then it has the 25th anniversary statue, and then the barcode is on the bottom with the other information. Um, so there you go with that. Very nice little box, and inside that little box is this guy. Now, this we all saw several iterations of this statue. Um, a lot of people are still a little bit upset with the face. I like it. Something I had to have. The um, the paint job is amazing on this. There's a little... This is a little indentation. I don't know if you can see that on the video. Um, unfortunately that part doesn't light up, I don't think. Maybe. I've only lit him up a couple times just to see if he worked. Um, so there he is, in a great pose. The, um, the blue here is a little bit sparkly. It's a very high quality paint. I like that little paint deal. And not much else to say. It is a nice little sculpt, in my opinion. The base lights up. The base has four lights, so he does light up. And then it has Mega Man on the base. And you can see... There's a little plug where his foot goes, so part of him lights up too. And I think it's just the um, the ears here, and maybe the buster, but I don't remember. On the back, you can see where the um, AC plug-in and the switch is. And maybe at the end of the video, I'll light them up, because I have to kill the light that's on me to do it. So, I will do that at the end. Next is this big fella, the 25th anniversary classic and X statue, and that's all there is on the on that, and just the logo on the bottom, and then there you go. So that is all that the box is. It's it's a nice design for the box, kind of minimalistic. And then here's the statue. It is hefty. Um, the first one I received did come broken. Um, the, the styrofoam doesn't really protect certain parts of the statue very well. Um, like X's arm here. Mine had broken right here at the, at the arm. And I've seen some other ones where this part's broken off. Um, so that's a real shame. But... Capcom was very awesome and they sent out replacements. Um, you can see that your uh, number is on the is uh, on the on a plaque on the base and also on the base is the etched in logo for the 25th anniversary. The sculpts are great. 
in my opinion, the silver makes it a little bit bland. I'd almost rather have um, a painted one, but you know, 25th anniversary is the silver one, so I do like that it's silver. I just always like things painted more. <laughs> Maybe that's just it. Um, so that's a very nice item, and that was available in the Capcom store. Uh, the other one was available for sale at certain events, uh, I think PAX and Comic-Con, but uh, they also had some released in their store. So I got all my stuff in the store. X. Mega Man. Alrighty. I think that's all of that stuff. So yay, Mega Man. Oh yeah, and uh, Mighty Number no. 9. How about that? That looks exciting. Um, I hope to collect some Mighty Number no. 9 stuff. Um, Beck looks really cool. And boy, that was really sticking it to Capcom. Even in the 25th anniversary era, it was kind of rough to see. Um, it's like, hey, you didn't come out with a game in several years. And, well, Inafune says that we need a game. So he took it on his own to create one, which is pretty cool. And the fans said yes. I, I pledged my bit. And uh, hopefully you guys pledge yours, and 2015 we'll have a game to play. So that's exciting. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye. So I said I'd light this up for you. There is Mega Man and his... The yellow part does light up. The buster part does light up. Both ears. And you can see the... Um, it's kind of rough in this light. But the... Uh, the base lights up too. So there you go. And when you plug them in, the um, when you plug the AC cord in, he automatically has these lit. So you don't get to turn those off and on. It's only the base lights that you turn off and on. You can see that with the switch, but those always remain on. So it really does help with the lighting, though. It's really cool. Um, especially in a dark setting, but it's kind of lit. But there you go, just another minute of video so I can show you the light up part. Yay!